and jelly beans. Lend me your ear. Though you think you've been petted, don't be silly, forget it. Deb, Flapper, and Baby Vamp bore me to tears. What do they know concerning love? Come to me for your burning love. Cause I'm the last of the red hot mamas. They've all cooled down but me. Flap of everyone, Area 51 Rider here. Uh, I'm uh, at the base of Brainwash Butte, and I've kind of done my thing here for today. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm um, going to head east of uh, uh, on the trail up to the Butte. Uh, farther east of here are some abandoned mines, a cabin. Uh, foundations, etc. I haven't been in there for a few years, but I thought I'd just uh, drive in and check it out. You guys can come along for the ride. I'm not going to video the whole drive in as quite a ways, but um, the first part of it is to uh, pick up the video uh, as we get close. So I'm getting a little closer to uh, where the mine, the cabins are, the cabin is, and uh, where the mines are. There's also a gate that goes into the NTTR here as well. So. Uh, very beautiful in here, these pine trees. And, Saw some uh, wild horses a few minutes ago. As the trail's pretty washed out, so they got a lot of uh, flash flooding in here.
I got a stream here, I got a forge, Ford. look at my map here uh, oops see if I'm on the right track uh, pretty sure I am but just have a quick look at my uh, GPS map come on hello holy cow what's going on with my phone There's a turnoff back there that uh, there's a turnoff back there that uh, goes down to the where this cabin is. But I'm going to go right to the end here, right in there. There's uh, there's an abandoned mine in there, so I'll go check that out. Then I'll come back and check out where that cabin was. Is oh. come on. high gear.
consult the map again here. It's been so long since it's been so long since I've been in this area that uh, I don't recall. Uh, come on. All right, so some of these trails show up on my. Uh, my GPS thing. You can see that. But then, I mean, there's a trail there that doesn't show up at all, so you got to take these maps. All things considered, though, they are, uh, they are pretty accurate. I mean, this little crappy dirt trail shows up on it, so. Alright, we're going to head off up this way. So, uh, looks like I did make a wrong turn, but it's not a big deal because I wanted to go up that way anyway. So, so yeah, I'm here, uh, but this uh, area is actually called Silverbone. So, I don't know if that's uh, uh, the cabins over there in the trees, old cabin. I'll come back this way. It's the name of the mine here, or if this was considered a ghost town, or what? But Silver Bowl. I'm gonna follow this trail here. It uh, it actually goes to the uh, restricted area. There's a fence there, the gate. There's some, uh, yeah, there's some foundations up here. Yeah, so foundations of a stone cabin there. Oh. Get a picture of that on my way back with my camera. Stream to Ford. Signs, the usual. So yeah, to the south of me is uh, the real site for, and then south uh, southwest would be uh, the Tonopah Test Range. one of the old abandoned buildings here. Probably uh, some miners built this. But there's a cabin up here. I thought this was a cabin, but it's not. Oh, yeah. The cabin uh, must be up here a little farther. Hmm. Oh yeah, it's a trail here. Oh, 
good I get to ford another stream. Abandoned miner's cabin. Let's jump off and have a quick look see. <sighs> yeah, it's been a lot of years since I've been here. Oh yeah, the <laughs> bed frames are still here. Yeah, I don't know if I walk in here. Old rotten chair. but it's got bullet holes in it. Something mining related, I would expect. Hmm. Something for a wash plant, maybe? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can see a bunch of stuff up there. I don't think I've ever been up there. I'll have to go check that out. Lots of trash in the ground. That's kind of what they did back then. They just throw the crap in the ground. This looks like a very old cement foundation. Somewhere in here is uh, an old grave. I can't remember if it's right here. I gotta drive up a bit farther, I think. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice day and this trip has been exceptional. When I say exceptional, it usually means something isn't broken down on me. But everything's been working just fine, so. Makes me happy. As the trail going up there, I'll go up there after. Sure, a short way up here under some trees is uh, somebody's grave. Let's see if I can find it. Fred Newton, 1870 to 1922, my beloved husband. <sighs> Moment of silence for Fred Newton. Must have been well loved. Somebody did this, built a fence around it and tombstone. I'll have to Google that name and see if uh, 
See if I can find any information about it. Okay, well, I'm going to take a little jaunt up here to uh, where this mine is and then uh, probably break off and uh, head up to the other mine that's farther up this way up here. Remnants of a mine. Come on, park. Looks like uh, ore buckets or something. Is that what that is? Ore bucket. Oh, that's some pretty beefy metal. Whatever it is. Uh, I got cement foundations. They built. It. Oh. They have a crushing plant here, maybe. Of steps going down. Wow. I wonder if somebody uh, took the time to put the date in somewhere on this concrete. Oh, geez. These steel posts sticking out of the ground there. All these stairs down. Yeah, there's like a hundred thousand plus uh, abandoned mines uh, here in Nevada, so this kind of stuff's all over the place. Interesting. I'd love to see a picture of this when it was uh, in operation to get some idea what what these foundations are for. Crushing plant, washing plant, I have no idea. <coughs> oh, excuse me.
they say the desert takes forever to heal. entrance hard to tell is that up higher yeah I think it's up oh shit I think it's up higher oh maybe not hmm Maybe this is just a processing plant. Hard to say. They dug the ore up and then brought it here and dumped it to a crusher or something. Somebody that knows more, somebody that's an ex expert miner could probably tell me. He used to use for claims, marking claims, but they're legal now. In fact, if you see them standing upright, you're supposed to uh, knock them over because birds and other animals can get in there and uh, and die. Yeah, it looks like there's a hall, little hall road going here. Oh, my camera's gonna die here in a few minutes. I'm just gonna walk over this this one mine. steel cable, some kind of drag line or something. Somewhere I've recorded the, well, I know I have recorded the names of these mines. I'm not getting any closer than that, but it was probably a shaft down there. One of these is called Blue Horse Mine. I don't think it's this one though. Maybe this is a silver bull mine. Probably the remnants of some old shitty ladder. Never, never go into old mines. Nevada Division of Minerals. Oh, that's who did. I thought it was BLM, but. The Nevada Division of Minerals that puts up uh, barriers around mines so people don't fall in and die, which happens every year. Of course, an expert miner would know that rather than get all uh, wondering why, why they did it. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. Those who know what I'm talking about, know what I'm talking about. But yeah, looks like they just dug out a, dug out a pit here for some prospecting. Because maybe they found a seam and then followed it back that way, I don't know. I'm no expert miner. But I know enough to stay out of them. <sighs> All 
All right, so I'm gonna cut this off here and uh, I'll take it up again when I get to uh, that next mine, Blue Horse Mine.
Broda now. Oh yeah, there's a trail right there. Sort of, sort of a trail. Flowers. Ah. Oh, got more flowers. Guessing this was a tailings pile. <sighs> that looks like a mining uh, claim number. <sighs> Foundations for something. Oh. Oh, it is so gorgeous in here. some pit holy cow so yeah if my records show correctly this is called blue horse mine no idea what they were mining out of here but Big tailings piles all around Yeah, people ask me about snakes, but to uh, be honest with you, the only snakes I've seen are ones squashed in the road, so. All right, well, that's it. Uh, I think uh, there's nothing else in here, really, of huge interest. end it here if uh, if I come across something interesting I'll start recording again but otherwise thanks for watching all right so I took another side trail here oh sure enough there's a couple more a couple more a couple more mines a bunch more mines Ooh, well, that's some rickety ass looking ladder So I'm gonna put the coordinates where I'm at in the, uh, oh great, my microphone's stuck in the barb, bar, barb wire, not bob wire, barb wire. Um, I have a look see down there, don't wanna go near that. <sighs> Tailings pile here. <sighs> yeah, I don't know what they were mining. <laughs> A lot of this rock has a uh, really yellow tinge to it. Sometimes that's... Yeah, I was wondering if it was sulfur. Probably is. Standing on a tailings pile is fence line up there, I believe. Yeah, that's this fence line to the uh, restricted area. So yeah, I'm in the I'm officially in the middle of effing nowhere. I think it's probably the farthest I've been uh, off the beaten path. 
Uh, you can see there's another mine down there. Actually, that looks kind of cool. I'm going to take a walkie down there. Hopefully I don't break my, break my neck. Ah. Oh, that's a cool looking rock. Yeah, I had fun one time, uh, probably 15 years ago now. I was out riding a dirt bike south of uh, south of the city where I live, and uh, took a corner wrong, and the bike went over, and I went flying, and uh, broke my hip. So there I am in the middle of bloody nowhere. A shaft going in there or hard to tell. I can hear the wind blowing. The wind blowing in them pines. So yeah I was basically on a trail in the middle of nowhere. Wondering why I couldn't walk. I had no clue I broke my hip. I knew I broke I knew I broke something but Fortunately, I had self-service, so I think I called my lady first, then I called 911, and then uh, they sent a rescue chopper, and the rescue chopper couldn't, uh, more flowers, rescue chopper couldn't see me, because I was in a heavily forested area, so. Meanwhile, I'm on the phone with the guys in the chopper, but they couldn't see me, so they ended up sending uh, this uh, OHV trail I was on. All of a sudden, this police car comes driving up the trail. Or was it a police car? Yeah, it was a police car. Behind that was a police truck, so they gave me a nice shot of morphine and uh, loaded me in the truck. But yeah, that's something that uh, something that uh, enforces being very careful around stuff, especially when you're out here in the middle of nowhere by yourself. So I have a satellite. Uh, I think I already covered that satellite uh, transmitter. So if something ever happened, I could push the SOS button. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching.